We're going to be working on a new series of videos here at Runtime Software. They'll be uh, real life case studies. The first one will be recovering from damaged, missing, or deleted partition tables using Get Data Back for NTFS. We have a drive filled with some music here, so we're going to open a few files and ensure that they're they're working correctly. We're going to go ahead and simulate a missing partition table. This can happen in real life by unplugging an external drive without safely removing it, or even a computer crashing or freezing while the drive is still currently in use. We're going to be using Dispart to destroy the partition table. It's a command prompt drive management system, so what we'll do is list the drive, uh, select the drive that has the music on it, and then we'll go ahead and clean that drive. Cleaning the drive will destroy the partition table. As you can see, once this is done, the drive letter disappears from Windows File Manager. If we go ahead and open Windows Disk Management, it will ask us at that point to go ahead and initialize the drive. Uh, we're not going to do this, and you should not do it either. The less you do to a drive, the better chance your recovery will be. We're going to go ahead now and go to our website, www.runtime.org, and download the demo version of Get Data Back for NTFS. The demo will scan your drive, show you the files, even let you open the files, but in order to save the files, you're going to have to purchase the software first. Installing the software is pretty straightforward. Be sure to read the end user license agreement. If you're a home user, you shouldn't have any problems, but if you're a computer repair company or recovering data for anyone else, you'll need our technician's license. Windows Vista and Windows 7 have user account controls. By default, they disable hardware access to your computer. This is designed so the viruses can't do more harm than they would in the past, but it also prohibits our software from working correctly. You can fix this temporarily by right-clicking on the icon and selecting Run as Administrator, even if you are the administrator. In the first screen, we'll choose to perform a quick scan, which is for sudden partition loss. After clicking on Next, we will select the physical drive that we need to recover the data from and click Next again. We did a quick scan, so it will complete quickly. You'll see the size of the partitions in Step 2. So just select the top one and click Next again. You will then be presented with your data. Go ahead and open a few files to ensure they're working. We'll open the same files again. As you can see, that one works without any problem. As does that one. You're free to open as many files as you like. But in order to save the files, you'll need to purchase the software from our website. You can follow the link you receive when you try and save the files, and it'll take you to our website directly. You can pay by credit card or PayPal, but please note if you do pay through PayPal, there's a 30-minute delay. Credit cards get processed in 90 seconds or less. In this case, you would select Get Data Back for NTFS, which costs $79. Fill out all of your information, submit the form, and you'll get your license key on the screen. This is a secured server. So there you have it. Chance of recovery is generally 100% as long as you have not formatted the drive or written any other data to it. If you have any questions about what you've seen, you can contact us by phone 808-329-2202 or email us support at runtime.org.